What is up, Rocket Nation? And welcome back for episode number 27 of Dying Light 2. In episode number 26, we finished off the raid quest, which was an amazing quest. We had to make our way over to the Tango Motel, as it looked like Sophie had gotten herself in a little bit of trouble. We were going for the rescue. We might have ended up in a fight for our own lives. If you guys want to check that one out, that is episode number 26, the raid part two. Today, I believe we only have one quest that is left, and it is uh, the water tower quest, I do believe. So that is, we're on the main storyline quest. Let's do this. I'm so excited. Uh, this save has been created on a previous version of the game. So there was an update. Um, if you guys are on console, there is a bug that could cause a death loop to happen. Um, apparently, they have fixed that. So that's all good, which is awesome. And they also added a backup save feature. Um, I'm not sure exactly how the backup save works. Um, my hope is that you can actually pause the game and manually save. That would be awesome. That would be an awesome thing to, to happen. Um, let's see if it did fix our bug that we were having. Um, there's a quest that we actually can't complete. Well, I've completed it about five times now, but it never saves that it's completed. And when we start up the game, normally it'll say double time, hold T to track quest. Um, we're going to find out real quick. If that's the case, oh, it's that's it's still there. It's definitely still there. <laughs> All right. So I'm imagining I'm probably gonna have to uh, off off camera. I'll go back. I'll complete that, and we'll see if we can actually get that quest to stop showing up. Um, let's jump into the journal here. Um, water tower. Okay. So this is yeah. We're gonna ignore this. This doesn't exist. Um, <laughs> water tower. Jack and Joe threaten to blow up the water tower to and deprive everyone of water. I had to climb the tower unnoticed and take control of it. Oh, it looks like we're getting bombs. <gasps> Are we getting a, it looks like C4 down there in the rewards. We also get him an awesome looking giant blade of death, 1500 parkour point deal things. And it looks like a charm or something. And uh, you know, some fighting stuff. It's okay. It's going to be fun. All right. So um, I believe that is the water tower that we're supposed to go to. Let's go to it. Let's go to it um yoink might as well while we're going by it i will say this game is much i was worried about playing it on its hardest difficulty um just because of how hard the previous one was it, the, the last one was a pretty difficult game when it came to difficulty and how just the amount of health that the enemies would have um i would say they've struck a pretty good balance i don't think it's easy but it's definitely not anywhere near as hard as the last one bandits defeated encounter i am triumphant the most triumphant detected. um let's get here okay so we have a couple of enemies there i think there's one yeah that looks like one right there inhibitor Container detected. We're 45 meters away from an inhibitor container. All right, let's get our move on. All the way up. Um, let's make our way across here. Can I just slowly look at my super red shoes? They're amazing. <laughs> Did they see me? Oh no! <laughs> he called. He called the zombie a moron. Under the log. I gotta stop. Uh, oh, another. Nice. Another roof roof. I have to stop pressing the shift button now because I always press the shift button. It's a habit. Uh, we here on PC are used to always pressing the shift button in every game whatsoever that has ever been made in the history of ever. And uh, now that is my dash button. It is a dash and uh, it can use up your stamina. So I'm finding myself always using up my stamina. Also, there is a marker on my map, and I don't know why I get rid of it. Get it out of here. Um, how are we gonna do this? You know what? Let's. I'm going for it. I made Sophie, that easy. Jack and Joe are in the tower. They're gonna blow it up. Dear God, if they do, we will have no water source. Come on, Aiden. The tower is mined. Try to disarm the charges. <laughs> oh my! Did I just take damage from that? I thought I wasn't supposed to. Okay, we things are happening. Weird things are happening. It shouldn't have taken damage. We landed on a vehicle. Please open. Right there. I hear zombies coming. Oh 
Only one made it in. Um, where is... Oh, it... oh, okay. So we're just gonna find and disarm the explosives. Oh, I'm just a bomb diffuses easyologist now. I don't... Is it the red or the blue wire? Hmm. Oh, we just F it. <laughs> Everybody knows if you want to disarm a bomb, you just pull it off whatever it's stuck to and put it in your pocket. <laughs> I feel like that's not legit. Do not try that at home. Um, some stuff to loot. Nice fancy new baseball bat. You've received a new weapon. Press I to go to your inventory. Thanks for the hint. Um, are we going all the way up? Okay, that got weird. Oh, uh, let's turn off the flashlight now. I suppose we're going up. So I'm, it must not be the only explosive that's out here. All right, so this is where we first made it over here. How do we get up there? Well, that's not the way. I hear a bomb. <gasps> oh. oh, kick it! Duh, kick it and F that bomb. get what they deserve. They will die. Jack, I'm warning you. Uh-oh. So they're, they're not 100% in agreement right now anyways. We heard that Jack was a little bit off the uh, off the kilter. Let's just say it that way. Um, we're going to try and reason with the one that's not crazy. After we F this bomb. safe albeit a bit leaky oh what did we get nurse mitts we got the nurse mitts oh another skill upgrade yes i do want another skill upgrade as always um what are we gonna put it in though um i feel like you know we picked up this last time it's absolutely amazing uh, I haven't used it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I haven't, I haven't used it once. Um, there's block charge, the, the the stab combat that would be awesome too. There is uh, we haven't got a bow, so I feel like that one's not necessary at the moment. Um, vault power kick, um, head stomp. Oh, I remember how great that was in the first one. Wall jump. We can do our bash, enemy jump, rotate jump. I feel like at some point we're going to have to take this. Um, slide jump, stealth movement, tic-tac. I kind of want to do the rotate jump. That was my original plan was to do the rotate jump. Um, but we it seems like all of these we already have enough uh, stamina for. So maybe we should be going into health now to maybe unlock some of the other things within this tree. So we need like 200 health for that. But we do need stamina for other things. You know what? We're putting it in stamina. I did it. I did it. So where are the boys at? Oh, hi. This is one thing that I'm not sure I 100% agree with, and I see a lot of games do this. Devs, I'm throwing you a bone here. I'm all I'm, I'm all I'm here to do is help out the people, okay? Developers, if you ever make a game, main stories, do not put pickups in main stories. They can have be everywhere else in the game. When it's in a main story, I like to hit the beats. And uh, yeah, they can kind of pull you out of what you're doing. Oh boy, this doesn't seem like a wise choice, but I'm doing it. <laughs> Made it after all. <laughs> you made it. 
the damn box on you. Am I gonna fight them both? Of course the fuck is up. Either the bizarre jack holes or the PK. They'll be on us the moment we come down from here, buddy. Fuck, we lost it, man. We lost it. I can't fight everything. That's why it's time for fireworks. Nobody's getting out alive. Joe, I don't want to die, you asshole. Hey, who's there? Yep. Stop, or we'll blow the goddamn tower, I swear. Um, um, I kind of want to just fight him. Or we could negotiate. Um, uh, oh, you know, I almost want to see what we can negotiate. I, uh, all right, we're going to... Let's negotiate. I found the bombs. Let's talk. The time for talking is over. We're going to fuck this place up. You're not listening. You're done. I want it to be over and to leave the city safely. I help me and I'll help you. You're fooling yourself, Jack. Nobody's letting us out of here alive. Look, I am a pilgrim. Let's just blow it up already. I dare you. I know you won't do it. Don't listen to him, Jack. It's over. Fuck it up. I don't know. I'm scared. Joe, wait. Joe, hey, isn't that the pilgrim who showed up at the bazaar recently? Maybe. Pilgrim or Pope. So what? Don't you get it? If he's a pilgrim, he can get us out. Lead us out of the city to someplace safe. I don't trust that fucker. You don't trust anyone. I told you to play nice with Barney when we had the chance. Fucking listen to me for once. Well, play nice with Barney? What for? To make him get the fuck out of the bazaar. After what we found out from the peacekeepers. We tipped off the fucker. Gave him a chance to run. But he thought he was too clever for that. They warned Barney. About what? Well, about Lucas wanting to take him in on weapons charges, among others. But set a trap for him for weeks. And instead of politely getting the fuck out of here, he tried to play cute instead. So, Barney knew Lucas was after him. The moron wanted to start a war in old Villador. And you ask me, war's the last thing we need. Money, crystals, that's a different story. That's why I tried to put an end to that rabbit dog and his sister. So, Pilgrim, will you get us out of the city or what? Calm down, Joe. I won't fucking calm down. Get us out of the city, Pilgrim. To the nearest safe settlement. And no one will die here. Oh, man. I want to know. I want to know what they know. These guys know some stuff. I w I'm going to help them. I know this is a horrible choice, and many of you are going to judge me based on it, but I want to know what they know. I can get you out of town, but first I have my own business to take care of. You need to hide somewhere and wait. Sounds like a huge risk. No risk, no gain. He's lying, Jack. There's no other way. What's the alternative? Fuck! I don't like it. I fucking don't. But okay, we'll be waiting for you in the tunnels near the Tango Motel. We'll give you a signal when we get there. Good choice. Now give me the detonator, Jack. Jack, you're a good listener. Boy, look at how scarred up these guys are. They're insane. Nice face. They're mushmelon. What's in here to loot now? I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh-huh. All kinds of goodies. There have been some stuff we could have used in the fight. Oh, what's this? Another a new tape? Tourism Office of Velador Horseshoe. Oh, we got to listen to that, don't we? Tourism. Um. Newscast. <laughs> I don't like the way they... Okay, there it is. They just throw stuff like in the middle. 
Like, put a dot on it or something. They just throw it in the very center of all of the other ones. you got to look through everything. This is a presentation of the Horseshoe Neighborhood sponsored by the Tourism Office of Velador. Horseshoe is the oldest neighborhood of all old of old Velador and was once bounded by medieval was one was once bounded by medieval walls which with a little imagination gave it the shape of a horseshoe for a long time so basically you're saying it wasn't the shape of a horseshoe <laughs> for a long time it was the home of craftsmen and artisan of all stripes from glassmakers to leather workers through butchers and their slaughterhouses hmm. Its street names often provide a glimpse into the history of this blue-collar neighborhood. Villador. Horseshoe is the <laughs> oldest part of the city with some buildings dating back to the 15th century. Its name comes from the shape of the walls that bordered it in the 17th century. Kind of. The district is also home to the water tower, formerly the bell tower built out of a military outpost. Its small winding streets bear odd names whose origins have faded with history. It's the home of the last craftsman's workshops and antique stores, the spirit of a bygone era. The greatest poets sought inspiration in Horseshoe, and their souls soar above its rooftop still. Perhaps, brave traveler, you too will find inspiration here. Today, Horseshoe is a favorite meeting spot. Especially for lovers. I, myself, once met a match from a dating app there whose bio <laughs> said he was a 30-year-old dolphin trainer with the body of a Greek god. <laughs> Unfortunately, the man who appeared was a 50-year-old vacuum cleaner salesman who brought his mother along. The date was a bust. But at least I was able to buy the latest Turbo Duster model at a killer price. Wow. Okay. Interesting. All right. <laughs> All right. So is that everything that is here? It looks like it is. I'm assuming once we turn this. So, so Barney, Barney, it turns out was about to be taken in on charges, weapons charges by Lucas. That uh, Lucas is the commander that was murdered from the PKs, which are the peacekeepers, um, PK for short, which makes me believe. Okay. I think I know what's going on. I don't know if I want to say it out loud. But my thought is that Sophie took some measures to protect her brother. Let's just put it that way. Let's go with that. F it. All right, so what now, Aiden? Smart guy. Who gets control of the water? <gasps> I have to choose. Oh, city alignment. Oh, no way. Okay. When you assign a facility to peacekeepers or survivors, they start controlling the zone around it. When a faction takes over a zone, it introduces its structures. Peacekeepers start installing combat-focused traps, while survivors build parkour helpers. Then that, that makes transverse or traversal easier. Ooh, you guys know how I feel about my parkour. The more facilities that you assign to a faction, the stronger it gets, so it can install even better structures. The current state of the city alignment can be accessed on the map menu. Okay, so this was the facilities that they kept speaking of. Okay, all right, all right. Well, here's a choice, our first choice. I really like, I like the survivors and I like the idea too of like, let's face it. Okay, yeah, more military style traps and stuff like that. That seems pretty awesome. That would help fight the hordes. Oh, that was a car bomb too. So we're now we're making car bombs. Um, Yeah, car traps, bring water to the zone. Hmm, PKs install car traps in all zones that they control. Zip lines. Survivors place zip lines all in all zones that they control. And that's nice as well. I feel like this is more of a who do you want to help out choice more than it is. I mean, yeah, we might get some bonuses, but oh, look at look at all these UV traps, pendulum traps, Molotov lanterns. Crossbow pack? What? Electrical trap, so crossbow is in this. Razor cannon? Not laser, razor. Maybe I could help you with the whole laser razor thing. 
and then car traps. So car traps are the first one. The third one, or fourth one, is the crossbow. So zip lines, airbags for bouncy things, awesome. Landing bags, whatever the heck that. Okay. Survival revival. When you fall in the survivor zone, the helping hand will revive you. Oh, that's kind of awesome. Air vents. Uh, I like that as well. Upgraded airbags. Look at how much better there are. They're blue. And that, whoa. You just get sent. Two way zip lines. You can go up or down them. I'm helping him. I'm doing it. Survivors. We're doing something different. I feel like everybody is going to choose the PK way. We're going survivors. I wonder if you can level both sides up. I would imagine not. Nice. How dare they close the you unlock city alignment zoom level. Press M to enter the map. Rotate, okay, rotate the mouse wheel backwards to open the city alignment zoom level. All right, so yellow will be for the survivors, blue for the peacekeepers. And I'm imagining since we've heard the word renegade, and I seen on the little, the little map that they showed that this area was red, I'm assuming that the renegades will be another faction uh, that will be led into at some point. Um, city alignment zoom level displays the current state of the city's zone. Both neutral and those controlled by peacekeepers or survivors. Awesome. You can find the various city rewards you receive by assigning zones to factions. To assign a zone, find a facility, water tower, or electrical station, activate it, and align it to a faction you want to support. Okay, so this is another gameplay. I like it. I like it. Another gameplay aspect. You're, you're sort of, you know, I wonder... You know, my guess is you could probably only ever, yeah, you probably can only ever take over one of those once. So in order to get like to the top tier of either side, you're probably going to want to go all in on one or the other. All right. Hack on. Good seeing you. Hey then, where the fuck are you? Barney knew Lucas was trying to capture him. Jack and Joe warned him. He could have avoided the trap, but he went into it anyway. That's when Lucas was killed. Maybe we should check out Barney's hideout at the Hotel Tango. I'll make sure the place is safe. All right, so we're going to go over there and... Uh, okay, new objective. New objective. Is this a... Uh, a set? Yeah, nope, this is still the Water Tower quest. So let's stick with this quest for now. What? I want to see what's up on top here. I don't know if you're supposed to get up here, but I am. Oh, it's beautiful up here. What? All the way up? Yeah. I'm going to fall and die. That's what's going to happen up here. That's what's going to happen. All right. So the Tango Motel should be right, should be right there. If I'm not mistaken, but there is a zip line. Awesome. Whee! You can go search Barney's stuff. The coast is clear now. All right. Boy, Hakan finds himself in all the right places. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, if I'm going to be completely honest. It feels like Hakan might be playing, um, might be playing a different game than the rest of us. Um, I got to do it. Is that a dude right? No, that's a zombie. I got to do this. Oh, your happy birthday. That wasn't a zombie. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh. Yeah, baby. Get drop kicked, bro. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Now. You're dead now, 
love the drop kick. It's amazing. That poor guy. <laughs> this guy just keeps getting kicked over and over. Don't push me. Oh! Kick him. <laughs> oh my goodness. This poor guy got kicked so many times. I wish I felt bad. No, I don't. That's a lie. Literally just told a lie. Hey, give me your two-handed axe deal. So much fun. Right there's the spot. Oh, yeah, that's the spot. Get her open. Get some rice. Could never have enough rice. So I've been told. As if the peacekeepers weren't enough. Hey. So, I'm kind of interested to see where this goes now, and also the replayability of the game, I do believe, has gone up tenfold now, because now it almost makes you want to know what would happen if I chose the other faction to side with. Um, I'm, I'm glad to see that's a thing. All right. And I will say the amount of zip lines, it is uh, very noticeable how many extra there actually are. What is, is that a haven't seen my kids for months because of this ridiculous. What do you got, bro? Nothing. You ain't got nothing. We can sell stuff. Oh, maybe they fixed that. I heard this was actually a bug that you weren't able to sell a lot of the white weapons that you had along the way. So let's sell um, a lot of these cheap machete. Uh, we'll keep those. Um, you know what? No, we won't. I'm just going to sell them. I'm just going to sell them. Because monies are always more important. Also, we have 1,500 and sellable items. Uh, I think There's we're good. blockade of the center. Well, I got what you want. I'm doing it! Aiden, I saw Sophie and her men near the water tower. So the place should be empty now. But I don't know when they'll be back. Well, hopefully they won't be back anytime soon. Are we doing... Are we going up? Oh, I see. There's actually a ladder there now, which is nice. So we'll just shortcut this one. That's what I was basically debating. Should I go up that way? Nice. There's a ladder here now. What? No. Why would you do that? Oh, because I was looking. You go where you look. I just break into the place. They're going to love me for this if they catch me here. <laughs> now it definitely looks like I'm up to no good. Um, It looks like a lot of the stuff actually respawned in here as well. That's just a ding shame. Who doesn't put something in a safe? Why does the safe exist if it does not have anything in it? I know this last room over here, we uh, were not able to loot last time. I would love to be... Oh. Oh. We actually already looted this one. Light sweatpants. All right, those are medic sweatpants too. Oh. Technological advancements are being made. So we have these gloves now. That's more parkour attack damage deal things. Um, we do not get the XP on these, but it's okay. It's okay. Um, this is more medic deal things. Health regen speed, the exact same on the parkour damage. Survivor sense duration is decreased. I'm good with that. And then our new sweatpants. Are they new? They're not. It's lower damage. What is our damage now? It's 7% on those. 
versus 5.8 on this, but look at all the extra bonuses you get. I feel like we have to go with those. It's a given. All right. I wanted to loot this place the first time we came through here, and it wouldn't let you open this door. Now we can. Yes, I'm stuck. Okay, nail it. Oh, investigate. Is this some kind of collector or what? What is that? Can I binocular it? What is it? It's some kind of new special crystal. Um, investigate. <laughs> that ain't no proof. That looks like a uh, beaded necklace. Um, someone showed their boobs. <laughs> Sophie, I'm looking at you. Um. <gasps> Here's something. No way. It's the tattoo. It's his butt tattoo. Wait, what the hell? Oh, fuck. That's... That's human skin. Hakon, I found the tattoo they cut out of Lucas. Damn freaks. What? Yeah. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. Get the hell out of there. We still ain't Doran. Why are you going through my sister's stuff? Oh, he's... I didn't know they were hiring pilgrims as housekeepers in this hole. Are you shedding skin, Barney? What the fuck is... We didn't... A little piece of Lucas to remember him by, you sicko. Fuck you. Nice try. But that ain't mine. I'll kill you, you son of a bitch! Bruh. Turn your back on us, will you? <laughs> Hakon can't save you! You can't win! I feel like I can. Stop it! What's going on here, for fuck's sake? Are you nuts? He's... He's setting us up. He started it! This fucking pilgrim is framing us. What is he talking about, Aiden? I found the proof. Hidden among your things. Proof? A of what? You cut the tattoo from Commander Lucas's arm. After his death, or when he was still alive. You're out of your mind. I didn't do it. Maybe you didn't, but your crazy brother... Barney's not a psycho. We have nothing to do with Lucas's death. I'm going to aid her. I've got the proof he's looking for. Aiden, it's not us. Nobody at the bazaar will believe you. Um, then where did the tattoo come from? You know, the big chunk of skin? Then where did this piece of skin come from, Sophie? Could have been planted to set us up. Ever think of that? Who would do that? And why? To distract everyone from the real killer. Who gained the most from killing Lucas? Who had the most to gain? If it was that easy for you to get in here, then someone else could have come in here before you and planted that. I don't know. I'm not going to be honest. It seems like they had the most to gain, as in... You protect your brother, and your brother doesn't end up getting arrested for weapons charges. I'm just saying, that doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. This is between you and Ader now. Wait. Please. Ader doesn't care about the truth. He doesn't care about finding the real killer. He's only looking for a reason to raid the bazaar. It's not my war, Sophie. No. But you'll have blood on your hands. Blood of innocence. Someone is setting us up. Someone clever. We're not sadists who would skin Lucas, Aiden. And you know it. But I know that you want to get rid of the PKs. Yes. And we will get rid of them. But not like psychos and assassins, Aiden. Believe me, this is a setup. I'll help you get to the center. I promise. How? By getting rid of the biggest problem of this land. The PKs. Uh, that seems dangerous. We've been preparing for this for a long time. I'll tell you everything when I'm ready. 
Stay close to your radio, Aiden. Time to make some changes around here. Did she just immediately try to distract from the back that all right, well, that is where we're going to end this episode. Thank you guys so much for joining me for yet another episode of Dying Light 2. As always, if you guys liked the video, like it. If you disliked it, dislike it. And remember, if you guys are not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you sub and then click the little bell notification icon. That way you guys can be notified when the next episode goes live. Thank you guys so much. And as always, remember, life is short, pause save, and I will see you guys in the next episode.